ABC Wednesdays. Celebrity Jeopardy is back. Damn! Look at it! Hosted by me, Ken Jennings. Yeah! <laughs> a new season of powerhouse celebrities compete. Go big or go home. To win $1 million for charity. When celebrities take the Jeopardy stage, anything can happen. Bet it all! What is zombie? What is Arctic? What is the incorrect answer to this question? <laughs> Celebrity Jeopardy in Primetime. Wednesdays on ABC and stream on Hulu. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for September 27th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Well, it seems everybody is talking about Taylor Swift, including Arrowhead Stadium, home of the Kansas City Chiefs. They've now announced a new menu item, chicken tenders, Taylor's version, served with ketchup and ranch. Health issues have kept Ozzy Osbourne off the road for the past five years. And after releasing new albums in 2020 and 2022, Ozzy is saying he's planning on hitting the studio again in 2024 for, quote, one more album. Between the serious fall at his home in 2019 and his ongoing battle with Parkinson's disease, things have been incredibly difficult for Ozzy, forcing him to drop out of the Power Trip Festival next weekend in Indio, California. In a new interview with Metal Hammer, he revealed that he recently underwent a surgery and he's now eyeing a productive 2024, saying, quote, I've had all the surgery now, thank God. I'm feeling okay. It was just dragging on. I thought I'd be back on my feet months ago. I just couldn't get used to this mode of living, constantly having something wrong. I can't walk properly yet, but I'm not in any pain anymore. And the surgery on my spine went great. The Prince of Darkness turned 75 this December. He said, I've done two albums fairly recently, but I want to do one more album and then get back on the road. I'm just starting to work on it now and we'll be recording in the early part of next year. I want to take my time with this one. This past year has seen a significant increase in the amount of music generated by artificial intelligence. And despite a popular AI-generated collaboration between pop artist Drake and The Weeknd being removed from Spotify, Spotify founder Daniel Ek stated in a new interview with the BBC that he has no intent to completely ban AI-generated content on his music platform. Citing tools like Autotune that are used to improve music, which he feels are an acceptable usage. Coming up on October 13th, Head PE will release their new album, Detox. The preview track, Too Late, has been shared online, and pre saves are now available at headpe.ffm.to. Detox is expected out in early 2024 via Suburban Noise. Live Nation has announced in a statement a new program dubbed On the Road Again. Created with input from country legend Willie Nelson, the initiative intends to help out developing artists with a $1,500 stipend for gas and travel expenses per show at Live Nation-owned venues. Additionally, merch cuts were also set to be revoked by Live Nation-owned venues. The program is expected to run through the end of the year, with Live Nation issuing a statement saying that artists will be able to keep 100% of their merch profits, that a $5 million donation to Crew Nation supporting crews across the industry facing unforeseen hardship, and special on-the-road-again bonuses for tour, promoter, and venue staff, the behind-the-scenes heroes helping shows happen. This program affects a limited amount of venues, including the House of Blues in Boston, Massachusetts. The Rolling Stones and Major League Baseball have teamed up to release a limited edition vinyl of Hackney Diamonds. Available exclusively at therollingstones.com, the extremely limited true collector's item will feature custom art for each of the 30 Major League Baseball clubs in pocket jackets housing single-disc white baseball vinyl. Each one is priced at $38 and they're set for release on October 20th. Static X have delayed the release of their new record, Project Regeneration Volume 2, originally set for release on November 3rd of this year, now bumped back to January 26th of 2024. 
Project Regeneration Volume 2 features some of the final vocal performances and songs written by Static X frontman Wayne Static. It also features the Wisconsin Death Trip lineup of Tony Campos, Koichi Fukuda, and Ken J. Project Regeneration Volume 2 is available for pre-orders. Static X, Seven Dust, and Dope are set to hit the road this November. Over the weekend, the long-awaited Black Sabbath, The Ballet, premiered in Birmingham, UK. Having been in the works for some time, attendees got a special surprise when Tony Iommi made a surprise appearance at the ballet during the show's final number. Commissioned by Birmingham Royal Ballet's director, Carlos Acosta, the show took place at the Hippodrome Theater on Saturday, the 23rd of September. Black Sabbath bass player Geezer Butler and Ozzy Osbourne's wife and manager Sharon Osbourne were also in attendance, as was Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin, Bev Bevin from ELO, who toured with Black Sabbath in 83 and 84. Iomi said, thanks to everyone who supported us at the ballet, we had a great premiere last night. I'm honored to be involved with these talented dancers. I'm afraid I won't be joining every performance. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 173 featuring Jesse James Dupree is available now. The is it morning yet deal. How about now? Or now? Because morning time is McDonald's breakfast time. And that's the best time of all the times. Get any sized iced coffee for just 99 cents until 11 a.m. And sweeten the deal when you pair it with a baked apple or pumpkin and creme pie. After all, why wait to treat yourself? Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Hi, I'm Michael Osborne. And I'm Amit Kapoor. Together we host Famous and Gravy, Life Lessons from Dead Celebrities. On each episode of our show, we choose a famous person who died in the last 10 years, and we go through a curated series of categories to look at their life story in search of insights and hidden wisdom. Category two, five things I love about you. John Prime. I'm going with the obvious, the mailman, that he was a mailman as he started his career. It speaks to a specific kind of artistry, which is what I love. Yeah. Like, everybody is an artist, and anybody can be an artist. Alan Rickman, net worth. I saw 16 million. That is, yeah, that's right. That seemed a little low. Really? Harry Potter. That franchise is insane. Category nine, man in the mirror. Hot take time. Luke Perry said, who wants a career knowing you got somewhere just because you look like somebody? Category seven. Over under. Maya Angelou. You know, one of the last interviews she was giving to Oprah, you know, like, what's it like to be in your 80s? And she's like, it's awesome. Famous and Gravy, life lessons from dead celebrities. Famous and Gravy is a proud member of Pantheon Podcasts.